Hello everyone, and welcome back to Niche, the Wild Goose Chase, where the chase may soon be about to begin. As usual, you guys, check out the video description for a link to the rules, the guidelines, and previous episodes, and we are going to pick up right where we left off, with Dove currently roosting upon what is most likely going to be her last egg. She might be able to get one more egg hatched, because uh, she has six days left, but I can't believe it's going to be the end of an era and the more i think about it the more i think i'm okay with it being the end of an era on this island it has just been wonderfully peaceful here and we have been able to get an extremely powerful start with having wings and preparing to soar through the skies but i do think that the next generation might be willing to be very adventurous to possibly leave this island and to take with them the many mutations that have now opened themselves up to be folded into the family tree. We will now always have wing available. We will always have platypus beak, which is one of the goals of the goose available. We will, we don't have webbed hind legs yet, but they're about to unlock. And with a little bit of luck, we will soon be unlocking water body. Thanks to turn and Ren, our two water body nichelings who were born into Tross's nest and have done such a good job of swimming through the ocean. So we'll let these two... Uh-oh. We've been bleached. There we go. We'll let these two continue to kind of swim and play. They are kind of like comorants, a type of bird that can dive into the water and hold their breath for a very, very long time. So they're unlocking swimming ability. And I think Prar is actually going to start doing that too. I think she likes to swim more in little riverways, but she has the ability to do a bit of swimming and she's really good at fishing too. So she's taking care of that, but really once we unlock the genes we're going for, I think it's gonna be time for migration. The only things I think we're missing are webbed hind legs and water body, which I think would be really useful. We already have fishing tail. We already have platypus beak. We already have wing. We really would be free. So free as a bird. So we will have the next generation of babies like Caspian and some of his kind probably go ahead and get ready to leave the island and head towards one of the other directions on a wild goose chase searching for the great goose. We're running out of territory here after all, so I think those who could leave would potentially consider it. Uh, and I'm trying to think, is there anything else I would want to unlock? Not really. We're doing really good. <laughs> like, we're doing really, really good. We have the and we have the ram horns now, so we have a little bit of strength to maybe eat some bunnels if we need to. We have a ton of food. I think we, if we had water body and we could just dive and swim to chase fish, that would be amazing. So that's kind of my biggest goal right now. But alright, until then, the rest of the nichelings shall carry on their lives as though nothing were going to change. We will have Chili over here do his best with Azora Ku pushing the grasses away around her to show off the resources that he has found. A completely perfect permanent nest, a little spot to have some berries. It wouldn't support many children, just one at a time, but it could be theirs. So he will go ahead and flirt with her. Meanwhile, little rooster has found a nest as well and he is continuing his explorations over here he probably would be one to leave to a new island uh, too and his sister tawny has actually inherited watching over their two younger siblings with whistlethorn over here and little shima who i actually haven't named because she has literally nothing literally nothing other than maybe the fishing tail that we are looking for so i kind of almost feel like the the genes of the fractured feather flock slipped away from her and she might slip away from the flock as a result meanwhile over here ina is very happy to return to her nest spruce it up and get ready for the next child while donri donrai who i think i'll leave his name he is sickly, but so was the Great Feather. And he does have, let's see, no normal attack, but he has white body and brown horns, that's two, beak, 
that's gonna be six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So he actually, Donray has actually really got a lot of influence in the tribe because he has a ton of what we're looking for already. He is probably, honestly, one of the closest to the goose that we have yet. So he is over here with his dad, Eo. Oh, don't get your dad sick, please. All right. Meanwhile, these two, with their eagerness to work together to, there we go, to chase down prey, Hawk and Swift might either go to the new land or they might uh, become mates and just stay here. We'll have to see. Duck, I really think Duck would make a good mate for Tawny. So we're gonna have him start working his way towards the rumored water that everyone's talking about with the little river. Zadi, Zabidi, shall carry on with defending his mate's territory. Ruddy is one of the ones who we might potentially send because he's really, he's got quite a bit of strength to him as well. Oh, Dove! Dove finally summoned someone! Little Zelma! And she actually has poison fangs. Do you have anything we're looking for, my dear? She has recessive savanna horns. That could be really useful. But again, I feel like we'll go ahead and invite her. And then what else can she do? She can fish. Oh, she can chase down the bunnels. She'll be invited to stay in Dove's territory in exchange for chasing the bunnels because she's actually really fast. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, I think it's about that. We'll unlock those jeans and then I do think it'll be time to pick some nichelings to go with us and head out to new lands. All right, Tross is gonna jump down and listen lovingly to her mate, Tiarch, who's doing his best to continue taking care of their family land. She will repair the nest. And speaking of nest repairs, Chickney is tending to the territory that uh, they watch over. We have one little baby left. Phew. All right, let's do this. Dove? <gasps> yes! Yes! Look at this wonderful, wonderful little one. Oh, I am so happy. Zebra Strika, who's gonna have her name changed. Look at her. So close, so close to the goal of what we are going for. I'm going to go ahead and name you, hmm. Maybe Warbell? Uh, Warbell, uh, War, huh, Warbell. There we go. After Warbler, which is a type of bird. And she actually has a lot of what the geese are looking for. Uh, we're missing a few things still, but we have wings, that's four. We have beak, that's eight. Uh, we have nine for the brown horns. All right, so she's got nine influence and she can fly. Yeah, I think we'd be safe to go ahead and have our flying nichelings leave. Even if I have fallen in love with like the majority of our nichelings and want to keep them all. All right. Everybody do exactly what you were doing before. Caspian, help out your family. Tiarch, gather up some food. Dove, go ahead and call. And we'll have our gardener, Chickney, continue to take care of some spots. We'll have Pra, who has decided to stay. Oh, she's drowning. We'll have Pra visit. Maybe help us with the whole swimming thing. Turn. <gasps> webbed paw! Yes, and webbed hind legs! Huzzah, we're getting closer and closer, friends. Turn and Rin, who is extremely beautiful in my opinion. Continue to explore the waterways. Rooster continues to explore the land. And poor Tawny, I'll let her repair the family nest and kind of like watch over everything. But how sad to just have the bones of her parents and, like, her siblings nearby. Meanwhile, I think Eo did indeed get sick, unfortunately, from his son. I think he really loves his son, though, so he doesn't mind. Donrai, I don't know if he'll make it, but we'll have to see. Alright, and then over here... I swear, these two love hunting almost more than they love the idea of becoming mates. But they're going to come down into the water and begin to perform their courtship dance. Hawk and Swift have known each other their whole lives, because they are siblings. But this is niche, and that happens. And they have genes that I want to see babies from. Alright, when we get too many nichelings, it makes things so complicated. Dove, you have just enough time to come down as a 
graying beautiful dove was Zabidi telling you about how much he, uh, he was going to compliment her old age but she did not appreciate that so we will compliment the many successful children they have had and it shall be the last time these two shall be eye to eye so I need just a moment it's just it's hard to say goodbye to my nichelings always but dove has really done a great job and I shall miss her and her mate we will let her fly up call out <laughs> there we go gather up some more food ready i kind of it's always curious like which baby should i send to the next island i think we'll just send the ones that can fly because we have so many of the genes that we can just apply now meanwhile chili we'll see if he can surprise us he has shown that he has an abundance of resources azuraku has shown that she has resourcefulness herself they may have some children all right it's just the babies left do we have a new baby nope we won't have a new baby here there we go. All right, so let's see. Need to repair mom's nest there. Dove will go ahead and call out. We ended up with another parasite. No big deal. The sisters can take care of that together. Ooh, wow. If you can fly and you get close enough to the surface, you jump out. That's so cool. All right, it really is just kind of up to turn and Rin. And Prar at this point to unlock water body for us and then we're out of here yeah we're getting really close only like 11 more all right some gardening with chickney and then chili will continue to review his territory with azuraku who is still debating if she wants him as a mate and then we've got some more gardening with rooster who's getting old enough that he might be able to start doing his own stuff whistlethorn We'll help his sister Tawny out at taking care of the land. Their parents' bones have finally disappeared, thank goodness. And then Eo has plenty of worms to come and teach his son how to noodle doodle with. Inga needs to sit and wait patiently on top of her, her nest, taking care of her egg. So many little ones to watch after. Owlet, here with her family. Might as well just like pile up on food while we can. There we go, kick the tree. Doc, you're finally old enough. I can have him begin the long journey to go forth and see, uh, go forth and see Tawny. Yeah, we're, we'll leave behind a few couples, but I think it'll be worth it to start fresh with a migration. All right, meanwhile, Swift and Hawk dance in the waters and Hawk hopefully impresses. He might, he might leave though, hmm. 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 D and F immunity. Hang on here. Hawk. D and A and Ren. Hawk. D and K and Feather. How many fully winged nichelings do we have? That is the question. Huh. Family tree. I think everybody has. Who can fly? Eight on Weirabelle. So anybody with eight. We're, so one, two, three, four, five. We have five that can... Oh. I think Hawk's going to wait. I think Hawk was thinking about the mate dance. But you guys, I think Hawk is a little too flighty. So talk about drama. I think that he got distracted and just as Swift thought that she was about to have a mate of her own, he vanished and I think has left her quite irritated. But I think it's more important to make sure that we have all of our flyers be able to go to the next island. So that's just going to be the way it is. All right. Meanwhile, get out of here. Get little bundles. Eating all my stuff. Go, Feather. Oh, you did it, Feather. She has a little bit of attack from her medium body. Maybe we should keep medium body, but I think being able to breathe underwater and go fishing would be really useful. All right, meanwhile, Caspian can also do attacks. I'm gonna have him maybe fly about and help patrol territory. Yeah, I think having a more or less entire tribe where everybody can fly is probably our best bet. 
to get our geese. All right, there's the bear again. <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh! Tell me you're healthy. He's healthy! Huzzah! Holy cow! White fur! Double white fur! This was one of the best gambles we have taken yet, friends. Holy canoodles. I'm going to name him Piper after Sandpiper. Okay, here we have somebody who has got double wings, so that's already four, plus five from the attack, and then double white body, so that's actually going to be seven. Uh, let's see, and did I do, okay, four, I didn't even do webbed hind legs yet, that's nine. So, whoa, look at that, and he's got recessive platypus beak. Piper, this is a sign? This is a sign that we should definitely send everybody into the future for sure. We'll go ahead. Eo will be so tickled and thrilled. Inga will remind him to be careful in the lagoon. Ooh, they aren't actually clicking about that. Uh, and then she'll compliment him on his worm hunting skills. Oh, they're having a hard time bonding. It happens. Their son, Don, will go ahead and gather up some worms. Phew, about freaking time. I think we have enough like flying nichelings for sure but we'll just see if we can breed up a few more last minute ones there we go so it's tawny and maybe gather up a ton of food and then we'll have duck move over here eye up tawny who clearly has some good territory i think we'll release little shima when she comes of age and let her be a wanderer all right zabidi proudly patrolling his mate's territory as always and then let's see I think Owlet will try to do some bunnel hunting. She seems like the type. Weirbel growing up. Ruddy gathering up the nuts. Working alongside with Zyros. There we go. Then we'll tend to our nest with Dove. A couple more calls. We have a Kravit like facing down Hawk. I really, I feel like Hawk just can't help himself. He goes after the chase and has left poor Swift without a mate after all. But we'll see, maybe her mother's summoning will pull a new mate towards us. <gasps> okay, there's actually some real danger for once and Zalma is immediately on it. I missed that somehow. Hmm, hmm. How to, Caspian, can you, can you help like light up the area so that we can see? the danger so feather and caspian have rushed because these guys will always always unite when there is a united threat to the flock like this uh tross just can't go anywhere because she is pregnant but she'll let out the alarm and then i guess chickadee can you do anything you kind of can i guess come down here just in case we need you that is the edge of our territory phew all right well that's interesting there's bundles aplenty back here but I think Chili is ready. Perhaps not in the Razorina infested waters, but he is ready to invite Azura down here and consider becoming mates. And Prar is ready to get out here and go fishing. So don't mind her, she's just passing through. And then we've got Ren, who has got yet another one of the leeches. There we go. She and her sister, hopefully getting closer to unlocking those genes. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Water buddy. Oh, two more! Two more swims! Two more swims, and then we can be potentially free friends! Oh, I am so excited. All right. All of that said, we do have our first taste of danger in the nest. And I wonder how this will affect the way that the tribe, the flock, wants to work in the future. All right. Well, here we are. Are burying the threat? We're doing our best to attack. Can Feather attack? Feather can attack. Does she want to attack? I mean, Ruddy can attack. You know what? I, I think she would. She's little, but they're fierce. <gasps> and they did it! We have defeated the Marina! Let no one face down our flock of angry geese. And we have, oh, Dove has two days left to her last child. Ah, why does it take so long to get everything done? Because there's too many nichelings, that's why too many nichelings but the good news is with children like piper the next generation as eo says will have a chance that's wonderful my love but i want a chance with you says inga hmm eo try again uh 
You have harvested such excellent nuts. There we go. So he, she's tickled that he likes the uh, the nuts that she's able to gather from the tree. All right. Meanwhile, we can have little Piper come and visit Dad. Dawn can go ahead and eat some worms. Woo! And Rooster has grown up, and he can actually start jumping towards this tree that he has spent the vast majority of his childhood working towards. <laughs> All right, guys, let's do this. Let's unlock one, two. Ta-da! Gills and water body. Also, we got another leech somehow. The girls have done it. We have unlocked water body. I am ecstatic. That is honestly the last piece I think we need towards. <gasps> Did we have another baby? We had another baby and he can fly and he has water body. You're kidding me. <laughs> okay, it's a sign. I think we're gonna wait for all of these current little ones to grow and then we will send them on a great migration to new lands. If that should be to very difficult new lands that they can fly through very quickly, or if that should be potentially to more peaceful lands remains yet to be seen. But I think we are about finally with all of the geese genes unlocked, ready for our wild goose chase. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for all of our little adventures. If you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.